The greatest known risk factor of the Alzheimer's disease and other dementia is aging. But how do you recognize the signs of aging from Alzheimer's? The director of the Alzheimer and Memory Center at UCSF Fresno, Dr. Lauren Alvin, tells us more. Thank you, Dr. Alvin, for being here and talking about Alzheimer's with me. Uh, so give me a background or you know, just a quick, what is Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's is a disease of the brain where the neurons die. That's what we call neurodegenerative. So it's one of um, a number of disorders that are neurodegenerative. It was discovered by Louis Al Alzheimer back in the early 1900s. So that's why it bears his name. It's a disorder that causes people to lose their ability to remember and eventually affects the rest of the brain and causes a variety of other symptoms. All right, and what kind of symptoms would we normally see? Well, often the most, the earliest symptoms are things like memory loss, forgetting things, forgetting conversations, forgetting recent um, important events. Getting lost is another big issue with patients with Alzheimer's and often comes early. Certainly the number one risk factor for Alzheimer's disease is age. So the older we get, the more likely we are to get it. And by the time people are in their 80s, um, many people have uh, problems with memory and thinking loss due to Alzheimer's disease. What is the difference between Alzheimer's and dementia? Uh, that's a very good question and one that I get a lot. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia. So a lot of people use that term interchangeably, Alzheimer's disease and dementia, just because most of the people that have dementia have it due to Alzheimer's disease. But there are other types of dementia. What types of ways can people prevent getting well, that's, Alzheimer's disease? That's the $64 million question. <laughs> um, the important thing to understand about Alzheimer's disease is that the changes in the brain and by that we mean the proteins that are getting laid down and doing the damage, those changes really start 10 years before anybody has any symptoms. So there's a long time that people have kind of silent changes. So it's never too late to try to attempt exercise, mental exercise, diet, and then the most important really is socialization. So. It's important to continue to socialize and a lot of people as they start to have changes from Alzheimer's disease narrow their socialization, narrow their conversation because they feel sort of embarrassed. It's important to keep that up and for the family to encourage that. It doesn't have to be with anybody other than family, but it should people should be encouraged not to become isolated during wow. that time. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for being here and for that information. Thank you. Almost 40% of people over the age of 65 experience some form of memory loss, which is a normal part of the aging process. If you or a loved one is experiencing memory loss and are concerned, speak to your primary care physician.